It is said, the strength of any nation lies in the capacity of its youth to hold the legacies of heroes past and the ability to establish new territories in new spheres of life. As the principles of the world seem pleasant to our eyes and human understanding even more beautiful is the spiritual realm with matters that shape both the spiritual and physical world. It is funny to think that when we think of the Bible verse that states that if the foundation is shaken, what can the righteous do? That is true. But if we look critically at the entirety of the text, the inability of the older generation to identify and effectively address issues about youths and adequately equip them to be the movers and shakers of this world and ambassadors of Christ also entails the foundation being unstable. How can the youths be mobilized as agents of God's reign in their generation as disciples of Christ to take up the mountains of influence? This question bothered the minds of great men of God and after a season of pondering and seeking the will of God, the birth of a great conference occurred, Joshua Generation. In the words of our fathers, our young people are our future and therefore must be given a priority place in the church. The Church of Nigeria has young people with unbounded energy, a generation with great creativity, a generation characterized by existential questions, and a generation with immense potential that can impact our world. We trust God to breathe upon these vessels in the place of intentional discipleship in such a way that these young Anglicans will influence our world positively in a very unique way. The conference holds a strong vision that hopes to intentionally train disciples and leaders devoted to God and distinct in social action, having a corresponding mandate that emphasizes that the conference aims at developing, raising, teaching, equipping, empowering, and commissioning emerging leaders and earnest disciples for the transformation of nations for God. The objectives of the conference have been strategically divided into basic units that include devotion to God in worship and service, development and commissioning of leaders, discipleship and mission orientation, distinction in social economic action. This gathering is the Joshua generation, the generation of young people who, like Joshua and Caleb, refuse to be discouraged or resign to despondency, but rather they believe God and stand up to take their place and possess their possessions. It is aimed at empowering the youth through the faithful proclamation of the gospel of Jesus Christ, engendering pure faith, hope, and love in, Jesus, in Christ Jesus in every young person. The first Joshua Generation Conference was impactful, so much so that the after effects drew more youth to the second, having over 30,000 ardent youths from over 30 states convened at the National Stadium Abuja. As participants of the Joshua Generation International Youth Conference 2022, the initiation of the Heaven Focus project saw many aspects of human and material resources coming into play. The rigorous process of organizing and coordinating activities toward a successful conference experience has brought in great minds who are not afraid to face any challenge as long as the results will leave a lasting legacy. What birthed the Joshua Generation International Youth Conference and how crucial is it in our present age and time? It is a strategic intervention and a deliberate effort focusing on the generation of young people. It is conceived to draw and bring together, develop, raise, teach, equip, empower, and commission a new generation of godly leaders of integrity, 
to spearhead the spiritual and socio-economic transformation of not only the nation of Nigeria, but also the continent of Africa and the world. This is the burden that better Church of Nigeria Youth Conference tagged Joshua Generation International Youth Conference. It is expected that generations of young people and Christian professionals are equipped as earnest disciples and change agents. The impact would not only transform their lives, but also take up the seven mountains of influence for God, and that is the business and economy, politics and governance, communication and media, the celebration and entertainment, the academic and education, the family and marriage, the worship and religion. The conference is loaded with worship and praise session, words, warfare prayers and deliverance, which has resulted in call to mission and repentance with a total of over 5,000 mission-minded volunteers and about 10,000 souls won for Christ in the two editions. The seven mountains of influence are being taken up by the follow-up training and mentoring teams. Elisha said, give me salt in a new cruise and take me to the source of your sea. And you put the salt in there. You are the salt of the air. I tell you, brethren, he said, as from today, there shall be no more untimely day. There shall be no more disease, no more famine. And it was so, according to the words of Elisha, the servant of the Lord. The man that used the rod to break Red Sea is no more here. And I hear God now saying to a generation that we never know before, a generation that does not seem to have a spine, a generation that appears very, very, very inexperienced. And I hear God saying to them, Now, therefore, do what? Arise! You want to be an ambassador? It's not in book. Didn't you hear what Brabile said? You will be trained in obscurity. You will clean toilets. It will pain you, but you will enjoy it. So when you, in, when you get a 25-year-old boy, who is born again, full of the Holy Ghost, and you are recruiting him, he's easier to teach than when you get a 35-year-old man who is married, he's thinking of two children, he's looking for job opportunity. Young people, young people, listen. Life is not about the container, but the content. Life is not about the container. It's not about how tall you are. It's not about who you think you are. What can you do? What is inside of you? What prophecy are you carrying? So far, the conference has recorded successes in the different follow-up programs, including sports, media and movies, and counseling. To encourage sports enthusiasts, football training and competitions across dioceses in Nigeria were organized, and that drew many youths who participated and were willing to go further in the training. The sports team is now picking out the final players to make up the national team. Recently. Over 60 young Christians were trained in the art of movie production. The participants were grouped into different classes, names, script writing class, cinematography and acting, and were trained intensely for three weeks. The training ended with the production of three short films, writ acted and directed by the participants. The movie team and film team is currently mapping out plans for further collaboration and production for Christ-centric films for the Church of Nigeria. Other committees include Mission to the Nations, Intentional Discipleship, Empowerment through Agriculture and Skill Acquisition, Music, Overseas Study Career Mentorship and Political Mobilization. Testimonies that have emerged from the experience of the Joshua generation are encouraging, most of which spur the strengthening of one's faith. So many teachings have been done, so I'm so grateful because there are so many things that they said that, that touches the area of my life that I should, let me say, amend it into the way that God also help me in life to grow. This time around, this program is building youth, not only becoming children of God in carrying Bible, but wherever you find yourself in every sector of this life, occupying that place and taking over for Christ.
So it has been an impactful program all this while. I'm really grateful to be here and I pray that all those that have come for this conference will receive God's blessing. This is a wonderful and a wonderful experience that I don't want any youth next year to miss. Wow, the experience has been a great thing, impacting souls for Christ. Actually, I'll tell you, I never believed Anglican is still going to show up this great again. I'm so surprised. When I saw this, I said, really, Anglican had risen from the sleep. Joshua generation have brought back souls that have even given up to leave Anglican communion. I am one of them, and I am back to Anglican communion. Actually, my message to every other youth out there, Anglican communion, I am telling you, come back to Anglican communion. Let's build the house together because the journey has just begun. We we move this country back to the right place it has to be. God bless you. Our fathers and mothers in God join champions of this vision to help create a greater future for our church and society by investing in this morally, financially and prayerfully today. A generation has come to pursue for they shall surely overtake the enemies that abound and without fail and recover all. A new generation is here and they are the Joshua Generation.